Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to do kind of a lengthy tutorial on how to do a black marble cup. Um, this has been a really popular cup for me. My customers absolutely love it. This is the first one I did for myself, just kind of playing around. Um, I've gotten a lot better at them since then. So first we're going to mix up our epoxy. Today I'll be using Artworks Epoxy Resin, my favorite favorite. So for this cup, I usually mix about 60 ml, 30 of part A, 30 of part B, um, which is way more than you're going to need, um, but I'd rather have too much than run out. Um, so I just take the leftovers and do um, cute little molds with them. So I already have my, my uh, part B in there, and part A I'm just going to warm up a little. With Artworks, it's a little bit of a, a thicker consistency. So I go ahead and just warm it up enough to make it just a little bit runny. It helps with bubbles. Now I'm not so worried about bubbles for this cup because I'm going to apply it with the epoxy method and then I'm going to mix all my colors in with the epoxy and then apply it to the cup. So I'm not really worried about the bubbles right now. I'm a bit of a fast mixer so I do get a lot of bubbles. But if you do heat up part A, with artworks, it helps a lot with the bubbles. I'm going to put in part A, scrape the sides. Scrape the bottom, get as much as I can out of both cups. And now I'm just going to mix for, oh, about two to three minutes. I use my little uh, mixing spatulas, which I absolutely love. Um, these you can get at the Craft Attack. Um, same with the Artworks Epoxy. So I'm just going to mix this really slow. Probably want to mix slower than I do if you don't want a lot of bubbles. But again, I'm not really worried about them with this cup. So I'll go ahead and mix this, and we'll come back and start mixing up our... Uh, our glitters and our mica powders. Okay, my epoxy's all mixed, and what I'm going to do first is get my turner going, and I'm going to apply just a super, super thin coat of epoxy. You don't need much. And I spread it and spread it out as much as you can without adding more. The less epoxy you use, the less your colors are going to move around. And on this cup, I don't want them moving too much. I do want them to move a little bit but not too much. So see, I'm spreading this as far as I can. I mean, just that little bit, I've almost covered the entire cup. Okay, I think I got it. I'm just going to take a tiny little bit and put it on the bottom. Let's go around and make sure the entire cup is covered. You get your edges. Alright, so that's pretty good. We're going to let this spin for a few minutes while we mix up all of our colors. Okay, what I'm going to be using today is I'm going to be using a few different glitter colors. We got glitters and mica powders um, and a little bit of a Lumilite dye, uh, epoxy dye. And so what I'm going to do is start putting these just a very tiny amount. Let's see, can you see this? Just a little tiny amount. That's probably too much. Um, and then we're going to mix each one with epoxy, and then we'll apply it to our cup. I'm going to just put those aside when I'm done with them. Okay, so on this one I only use four different glitter colors. 
and on the black cups um, to get the effect that I like I use iridescent you can see this is like a peach but it actually goes on um, turns a little goldish on black and then this one is an iridescent blue I don't know if you can see that or not um, and it turns almost a greenish it turns a blue green on the cup so then I take a little bit of my micas I use a blue and a purple mica for this cup I just take my little mica spoon and I just do one little scoop doesn't even have to be a big scoop you can see that and I just put it in the cup and then I do the purple Then I'm going to use just a tad bit of white. Oops, that was a little too much. White epoxy dye. And then we'll use the black epoxy dye that helps uh, blend in the white when you apply it to your cup. All right. And then I'm going to just take my cup with my epoxy and I'm going to. Put a little bit in each one. Don't <clears throat> don't need much for the micas. Um, the, the fine glitter you need a little bit more, and then with the chunky glitters you're gonna need quite a bit more. My chunky glitters, my epoxy dye. Um, you only need a little bit of white because you're going to need more black for blending. And then you just mix each one up. Just like that. It's all mixed up. It's a really pretty color. I'm just going to go ahead and mix up each one and then we will start applying. Okay, now all of our micas and uh, glitter and epoxy dye are all mixed in their own individual cups. And I start off with the epoxy dye first, the mica second, and then the glitters. So first I start with white because it's a black cup. So we're going to just take a little bit. We're gonna just use a popsicle stick and just and just drag it down. You don't want too much. You just kind of want a line. It's gonna spread out a little. And then I'll do a second one about halfway on the other side. And then bring it kind of down on the bottom. So add a little bit more here. And on the bottom is just going to do its own little thing. So then I let that spin for a second. And then I'm going to add a little bit of black right next to it right above it actually you can go through it as well and that's going to actually blend it there's really no wrong or right way to do these um, they just all seem to turn out pretty neat and then you just kind of let it turn and come back to you when you need to get to another spot. Now then I take a cute or a popsicle stick that doesn't have anything on it and I'll drag some of that black back up here because the white's kind of thick right there. Alright, so then with my glove I'm going to add just a little bit of white 
on the tip of my finger like that. You can see that. That's even too much. Just a tiny little bit and then I'm going to add some spots throughout. And I'll take the spots that I already went in and just kind of, not in a straight line necessarily, I, I like mine to have a little bit of shape. And then that white, I'll put a little black, whoops, on the tip of my finger and try and blend that white in so it looks more like a little marble instead of just stark white. There's a lot of white in this one. I have to add a little more black. It looks kind of marbly. Add a little more, a couple white spots in there. To Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to do for the white. I don't want a ton of white on it. Now I'm going to start with my, my mica powders. Now again, there's no rhyme or reason. You can put them wherever you want. I just usually start next to one of the white and black areas with the dye. And I just do a thin line. And then I'm going to do another purple over here. You can go over. It's not going to hurt anything if you go over the epoxy dye either. It's all going to kind of blend a little bit. They're not going to move a ton. But you do want it to move a little bit. It gives it that little, that free form look. And then again with this, I'll go on the bottom of the cup and I'll just kind of continue it. And then I'll do the same with the blue. So now I come in with my blue. And I'll start in between the purple. The thin line. Go all the way down. And a little bit on the bottom. In the bottom of your cup, I'll show it to you after I'm finished applying. We'll just kind of do random, its own random thing, and then it turns out pretty neat. Alright, and, oops, I missed my, missed my spot. I'm going to add a little more blue. Okay, so there's that, and I got one more area I need to do blue in, and I think right here would be a good spot. And again, I'm going to bring it down to the bottom, and let it do its thing. So, I think that's enough of that color and now I'm going to start <clears throat> now I'm going to start with the uh, the finer glitters and then the, I'll do the chunky glitter last so this one I think would look the best by the blue because it kind of gives off a blue green and I just kind of follow it down Go next to the blue over here. And these can go in any 
order you want. This is just... I don't even think I keep it in the same order every time. They all come out different, and that's what's kind of cool about them. Again, bring the glitter down on the bottom. Just kind of follow out from where you started. And then, I'm going to take this. This color right here, which is really pretty. And this is the one that's going to give off that cool bluish green. So I'm going to put that over by the purple. Uh, not right up against it. I want it to kind of have its own area here. Because we still have the chunkies to add. Now, in all these little medicine cups too, it thickens up a little bit while it's sitting there while you're applying the rest. So, And that's what you want. If it's too runny, they're going to go all over the place. Okay, a little more. Right here. So pretty. If you flatten them out a little bit, it really shows the iridescence on the black. Okay, now <clears throat> I'm going to go and apply my chunky glitters. So this is a really pretty color. And this one will go along the purple, and then the other one I'm going to go along the blue. So this one I'm going to start here next to the purple. Now this is a little chunkier, and you don't need as much. And you want to spread it out and flatten it, because when you go to epoxy over it, They'll be sticking up if you don't. And it doesn't matter what side it goes on. It can just kind of go wherever you want it. I'm going to put a little bit on the bottom as well. And then I'm going to do this one. side. Um, let me see. I don't think I'll go right here. Now this one doesn't have really much, it has a little bit of iridescence in it, but it's more just a dot glitter. Um, I see a tiny little bit. I do leave a little bit of room, like you noticed, right here, because that's where the name will go. I'll do, do the decal right there. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go through and smooth out some of these things. I'm going to do it just a tiny bit more white in some of these areas, but I don't want it stark black. Just do like a little bit on the edge of your popsicle stick and just do a thin line. There we go. I think that's about it. I'm just going to let it spin for about four hours and then I will put a, um, oh, what do you call it? Um, I'll put a flood coat on and that way I can, it'll be all ready tomorrow morning to do my decal. So I will post a, a final picture when I'm all done. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you next time.